Okay guys, so iOS 17 and developer beta 1 is now officially out for registered developers and Apple did share a handful of features when they announced iOS 17 and I also have an initial coverage video where I share some of the best features in iOS 17. I'll link that in the description down below. But in today's video, I want to share with you guys a few features in iOS 17 that Apple did not tell us about that are actually pretty decent features and I think a lot of you guys will find very, very useful. So let's go ahead and dive right into this video now as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest ios news and apple software updates of course don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now the first feature i would like to talk about is a new feature under privacy and security so if we go into settings and we go under privacy and security there's a brand new filter that apple never mentioned and that is a sensitive content warning filter that is now available in ios 17 and now apple has also added additional security and privacy features built into safari as well i just noticed that if we go into the browser and go into private browsing the safari web browser on the private browsing is is locked using face id so unless you enter your passcode and or use face id it won't unlock the private browsing which is something that i'm happy to see apple has added to ios 17 and now as we head on over into settings here as we continue to talk about privacy features let's go into passwords here and under password options apple has added a brand new feature which i'm happy to learn about this one automatically cleans any of the verification codes that get sent via text message or email. You know how sometimes you go to log into a website or your bank and you have that code that you have to enter, the verification code. Sometimes those messages just pile up in message or on your email app. Then this will automatically now remove those and clean those out of your device without you having to go back and remove them yourself. Again, that's going to be under the password settings and under password options. There it is, clean up automatically for verification codes something really cool now the next feature i want to talk about has me very excited because i can't wait to see what developers will do with interactive widgets now when apple introduced ios 17 and announced it alongside ipad os they mentioned that ipad os would get interactive widgets however they never mentioned that the iphone was getting the same treatment however ios 17 does feature interactive widgets on the iphone and i can't wait to see what developers will do with this one as you can see there i can play and pause the music i can go ahead and check off some of my reminders here as well there's a new home widget available as well so if we go into the widget panel here apple has added a new home widget with interactions as well for the iphone which i'm happy to learn right there the small and the medium size is available and it is interactive as well so i can't wait to see what developers will do with this one but yeah interactive widgets is one of those things i'm looking forward to so when i came across this next feature i was super excited because it allows you to share an air tag if you go into the find my application you go into items and select an air tag in this case my keys we oftentimes share the keys around the house and now you can add a person to an air tag that's attached to maybe luggage or keys that multiple family members maybe use however keep in mind that once you share an air tag that person is able to see your location and tracking notifications will be muted because you're sharing that air tag with a person of trust but this is nice again if you share your car keys multiple people use the same car around the house with the same car key attached to an air tag or maybe luggage and things like that so sharing air tags is a new feature that Apple didn't mention available within iOS 17. And now another great feature within Apple Music, aside from sharing Apple Music in the car, is now crossfade between songs. So basically, if you have a playlist, a song will crossfade one to the other so that you don't lose the beat and the rhythm stays going. It's a really cool feature built in to the music application in iOS 17, which I really like as well. Now, last but not least, another feature that Apple never mentioned on their keynote is the ability to now ping your Apple Watch. So if you lose your apple watch you now have the ability to go into the control center here and you have a new option to add right there ping apple watch and this basically allows you to go into control center if you can't find your apple watch and have that sound play just like that and you can find your apple watch in case you ever lose it so yeah that is another feature that apple has never mentioned now i'll continue digging around the software to share additional features with you guys but these are some of the ios 17 features apple did not tell you about let me know what you think about these in those comments down below i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys on the next one peace